Okay then folks, I'm down at the range with BSAR 10 shooting through the uh, One Leaf Commander Envy 400. I'm going to shoot at the Firebird Shooting Star 65mm targets, which is attached to the uh, T90 tank holder that I made up. If it survives one shot, I'll probably stick another one in. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I did do an initial zero yesterday. Uh, the wind is pretty strong today. Uh, so I probably need to do a bit of uh, windage adjustment. But uh, we'll see what the elevation is like. Once the elevation is sorted, I might have to hold off for the wind. So uh, let's get on with the test. Put my Mr. Magoo glasses on. <clears throat> right. Just going to change the colour of the reticle. Okay. <sighs> See what the drop's like. Gonna go for the top one. That's not much of a drop to be honest. Okay, so it's probably one mil dot of wind drift. Between half and one, depending on the wind. I'm not gonna bother touching the uh, adjustment on this now for that. Let's do it on there. Okay, uh, where's the tank? I'm going to uh, zoom in to get the, you can see the size of the hole up. See if we can uh, improve the focus. I think we're there. I mean, look, that's uh, zoomed in 13 times. So I think if we hold it there, we basically hit it. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to set up the cameras. Okay, Magoo. <sighs> See if we can do it in one. Where did that go? Oh, really? Pretty close there. Well, that's where I was aiming. Oh, shit. All right. Here we go again. All right. 
it was a bit lower, so. Uh, we have to put something in front of that. Do so find that uh, where that last shot went. I was aiming above it and on it, I think. Oh, it's right on the ridge. Okay, this time. I can't be doing this ten times. So. Oh, this is interesting, isn't it? A bit of exertion as well. Typical military tactics. Right. Going to hold on the edge. Oh, you... Oh, dear. That was okay, but it, it dropped below the store. But that, that could have been it. So this time... I'm going to hold it on the right hand edge of the circle. See if we can focus that better. Yeah. Last pellet went there, so. Oh, you. Oh, that's. That just, ele just a bit too much elevation there. It's right on the rim again. But right where it needs to be, so... Oh dear. Alright. Oh, I think I saw that one. Oh, you bugger. Yee, by gum. Okay, where are we? Not, definitely not there. Oh dear, that went. Finally, let's see. Uh, oh, let me uh, zoom out. Okay. Can I see anything? Well, I'll have a look for debris on the way up there. Let's find out if the T90 survived. I don't think it did, but we'll soon find out. Oh dear, that went. I'll start switching the cameras off on the way up. Hoping that none of them's got damage with a blast. So this is the MV200 binocular. Uh, that's 
should be off now. <sighs> yeah. And over here we had the one leaf MV100. Is that still recording? No. Apex has gone off now. Let's hope he caught the shot. Did this one? Yes. One of the one leaves caught it. Okay. Right. Let's have a look for this tank. Haha, <laughs> what's this over here? It's separated tank. The back part of the sandwich blew off. So it went in there, it's lost the barrel. And there's the other part. Well, would you believe it? Typical Russian tank, the turret blew off. Hooray! This is how it goes. And I suppose in theory I could just glue that back on. But obviously the back of that's missing as well. So there's the top bit. So as in all Russian tanks, when the uh, ammo kicks off in it, it takes the top off. So where's the uh, where's the rest of the tank? Ah, there we go. <sighs> So, can probably uh, screw that and glue it again. So that's the back of it. If I drill at the front this time, there we go. The T90 Firebird target holder. And as you can see, that was the initial target dropping down slightly and going to the left but that was zeroed in at 17 and a half yards so at 40 it didn't drop much did it <laughs> 